Hello everyone. Yesterday we have discussed about the type of coronavirus that infect human and its structure. Today we will discuss about the replication. Can anybody say virus can replicate itself? Obviously not. It needs a host. It needs a body to replicate. So in this video we will discuss about the replication. So let's begin. Generally, coronavirus transmit through fecal matter and through air droplets if any person is infected with COVID-19 and this droplet spreads up to 3 to 6 feet and stay on the surface from 1 to 3 days and persist in air till 3 hours and the person uh, could be symptomatic or could be asymptomatic. Generally, this coronavirus love to attack the lungs, especially the alveoli. So, here is the enlarged view of the alveoli. Here is the good one, I mean healthy one alveoli and this side is the injured one. So, our alveoli generally made up of two types of pneumocyte type 1 and type 2. What is the work of this pneumocyte? So, here we go type 1 helps in gas exchange, type 2 produce surfactant. What is the use of this surfactant? It decreases the surface tension so that our alveoli can be maintained healthy. Okay? So, now this virus will come and attack or attach to the type 2 pneumocyte. Okay? So, let us see here. This virus is coming here and it attached to the type 2 pneumocyte. Here I am showing how this virus is replicating. So, here is the enlarged view. Okay? So, let us begin. The virus first comes to the alveoli and attached to ACE2 receptor. What is the full form of this ACE receptor? This is angiotensin converting enzyme that is present in our cell, means in our alveolar cell. And due to this receptor, this virus is able to transfer its genetic material that is positive sense RR, RNA, right? So, let us see how it is transferring. Here you, here we go. This, the genetic material has been transferred and after transferring the genetic material, few uh, works it do. What are those? The first one, after this, gen, uh, this RNA then translated to polyprotein. Okay. And this polyprotein by the help of proteinase it produces the viral protein. What are the viral protein? Spike protein, M protein, N protein, HE protein that I have discussed in my previous lectures. Okay. Then after formation of this viral protein what next? Obviously what a virus need? It needs a genetic material that is RNA and the protein, right? So, here the protein part is over, means uh, the virus successfully made its protein, right? Then the second path, in the second path, the genetic material RNA with the help of RNA dependent RNA polymerase, it will make a copy of it, okay? Multiple copy of RNA. Now, your RNA is ready, means the viral RNA is ready and the viral protein is ready. Then here they will assemble, right? Then after assemble, after the assembling, they will produce the baby coronavirus or the new viral particles. These are the new coronavirus that has been replicated, right? Now the question is, after formation of this virus, what next? What occurs to this type 2 pneumocyte? 
gas that due to formation of the new particle new virus particle type 2 pneumocyte ruptures and that leads to inflammation which provides signals to what if you want to know after that how a virus is infecting us and how our body is responding to them please wait for the next video stay tuned and if you like my video please subscribe my channel that is instant microbiology and biotechnology and gives me a thumbs up you can follow me in my instagram microbiology underscore dr swati thank you so much